Hi, so let's talk about the Bronsted Lowry theory of acids. Um, basically, now we're going to look at what is a modern theory of acids, and that is acids as proton donors. So this equation here is the very simplest version of this equation. Um, generally, there will be something else giving off this proton, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And this is the Bronsted Lowry theory. It was proposed by both Bronsted and Lowry independently of each other, which is kind of cool at the exact same time. So basically the theory is this. Acids are molecules that ionize in water to donate protons. And remember a proton is a H plus ion um, and it donates a proton to a base, which is a proton acceptor. So acid equals proton donor, um, a base is a proton acceptor. So the theory in this case takes solvents into account and that's what's new about it is Arrhenius's theory didn't take into solvents, uh, didn't take solvents into account. It was purely just the molecule which was ionizing and this one is acknowledging the production of the hydronium ion. So an acid is a molecule in water. So an acid molecule in water ionizes, um, releasing a proton and forms a negative ion. The proton is accepted by H2O, forming a positive hydronium ion. What that actually means is this is the acid and this is a base. So in this case, water is acting as a base. Now water can actually act as either, but in this case, water is acting as a base because, so this hydrogen might have come from a an HCl, that's the simplest one. Um, so this protons come from HCl, and it is attracted to the water and makes a hydronium ion, and it would be um, chlorine, a chloride ion in there as well. Okay. So, two things now. An acid is a proton donor and forms a negative ion. A base is a proton acceptor and forms a positive ion. So we've added a step now. Um, and it's important to realize that before this acid was ionized, it was a neutral molecule. So HCl here, as a gas, is neutral. It's only when it ionizes and hence taking into account the solvent, only when it ionizes that it becomes a an acid. It's only then that it changes the pH before that pH is neutral. So let's have a quick look. We'll stick with hydrogen hydrochloric acid because it's the simplest. Here we have hydrogen chloride, which is a covalent molecule, is added to water, it's bubbled through this is our acid, this is our base, and it leaves a negative ion because it takes a proton, gives it to the water, and forms a positive hydronium ion. And that's why hydronium ions are super important. So this is it as a Lewis dot structure. Here we have the hydrogen and the Cl there, and you'll see that the Cl here has a hydrogen electron that it is sharing. Um, then this proton, because it leaves its electron there, gets attracted to the um, negatively charged nucleus here, or negatively charged area around the oxygen, and forms a hydronium ion. Um, and it gives us this. We have the hydronium ion, okay, plus the chloride ion. Now remember, um, this was our acid, and this is our base in this case. It's really interesting to think of water as an acid or a base. So according to bronsted lowry theory, the um, acid is a hydrogen or a proton donor, and the base is a proton acceptor. Now, let's have a quick classification of it. How do we set them up? How do we organize them? Um, we can classify our acids based on two things, their strength, so how much they ionize, but in this case, we're going to look at how many hydrogens 
they have to offer. So a monoprotic acid is one of these guys, and that is one which donates one proton. Diprotic acids give two protons, and here's how this works. So here we've got our um, sulfuric acid, and it donates one, or it ionizes to give one proton plus a hydrogen sulfate ion. The hydrogen sulfate ion then again, but weaker, see that it's weaker here, um, ionizes to give a sulfate ion plus a pro, uh, proton. So if we were to write that out though, it would be H2SO4 um, goes to uh, 2 H plus um, plus SO4 2 minus. So that's what that would look like. A triprotic um, molecule donates or ionizes to donate three protons. And here we have um, hydrogen phosphate acid. Now I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Thank you for paying attention and yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye now.